Hello guys, thanks for joining a bot framework course. So last tutorial we seen about uh, how to deploy the bot application using Python language in Azure. So in this tutorial, I'm going to focus on how to configure team with our bot. So just go to my Azure account. So Azure account, uh, we configured this on web chat last uh, tutorial and uh, we tested. It's working fine. Now I'm going to configure with the Teams here. This one, configure Microsoft Teams channel. So if you want to test uh, Microsoft uh, Teams with your bot, so you need a Teams account. If uh, not, please create it. You can use a Microsoft account, but you have to give the confirmation everything in that one. So it's a simple process. Once you go into login with Microsoft Teams, it will show the process uh, steps. Okay, now I just click this Microsoft Teams. Here, default it will come with the Microsoft Teams commercial. Yeah, we have to select this only and click the save button. So what happened in the behind it will uh, you know do some uh, configuration setting everything it will take and uh, do the operation okay now it's saved next move on to microsoft teams i am using a desktop up, uh, application you can use um, web teams also okay so once logged in i am not creating any team here so first, what I'm going to do, I'm create the one of team. So it's, uh, for un uninstallation, everything is a simple process there. So I'm just click the team uh, here, create team, build a team from scratch, just for a private purpose. Team name, test Python bot, click create for our testing purpose so we are going to test i'm create this team yeah team has created uh, add a members no i don't want to adding any member here so this is done next one we have we need a uh, one app called app studio just uh, go to apps app studio click the apps button here you can just type the app studio it will show the here this one first one app studio microsoft microsoft corporation click on that i have already installed the app studio that's the reason it's coming uh, open otherwise it will come add something like that you can click and add it i just click open fine next one go to this main fist editor And here you can directly create here bot management, create and managing bots, or you can use the create new app. Better, I will go with uh, this uh, create new app option. I click this one, it will ask uh, names. So, I'm just giving the name Python bot version 1.0.0 and app id generate new app id package name just com dot python dot bot all are just dummy name version zero i think uh, yeah sorry here full name python bot test application so here the version here the full name and um, Next one is a description, uh, short description, Python bot, this bot uh, using for, using for test the bot application. Make sure uh, that uh, short description and uh, full description should be different. If you given the same one, it won't accept it. Uh, next is a developer or company name given developer name Vinod website URL http w dot github 
dot com slash my GitHub account given so there just copy it privacy statement and terms of use are same oh must be a valid HTTPS yeah so copy paste it paste it here I missed out yeah HTTPS and uh, I don't want I'm not using any logos here just leave it as it is yes next go to these uh, tabs here select the sorry select the bot click the setup bot name even Python bot and uh, select select this option We'll uh, we'll learn more about uh, this one bot and uh, Microsoft uh, Microsoft T communication. That time we'll learn more about this one personal team group chat. So I just select this one. Maybe I can remove this also. Teams, let it be there. And uh, okay, fine. Let it be there. Click create bot. Now bot. You know, bot related configuration is uh, creating. Okay, done. I think, yeah. So now, next, what we have to do this messaging endpoint. This is a very important, important one. Bot endpoint address where the bot is running. So that we have to give this messaging endpoint. Go to Azure and select this settings come down this is our messaging endpoint just copy it go to teams paste it this guy will validate whether the address uh, properly or not yes seems to be okay yeah green next one click the edit button here we have to change this id bot id go to again azure this is our bot id so just copy this one teams remove paste this one save done next finally come to test and distribute if anything uh, you know error something like that it will show here so seems to be our uh, bot configuration everything fine so I click this install button here we have to add it don't okay don't add it here click it here first you click this combo box and select the option add to team because this we are going to use uh, testing purpose only now so we will add it to the team so I just type python yeah sorry even the gender okay select this one this is we created test python bot set up your bot now what will happen this configuration uh, it will this bot configuration will uh, set up in our teams we will create in the initial of this uh, tutorial we created yes done so once then done it automatically will come to our teams and uh, it will show how to you know interact with the bot so python bot i said hi I hope uh, it will display. Yes, it will take time. Yeah, it's displaying. So here you see the same. It will display here. Yeah, that's it. So our bot it's working in the Microsoft Teams also. Later on this uh, video series tutorial tool, we will learn more about how the interaction will happen Teams to bot. Let's say for example, if I click this thumbs up button like button so once this is clicked it will go to our bot bot should uh, receive that one and bot should give some response to the teams so that we'll uh, learn upcoming uh, video series tutorial i hope you will understand how to how configure a bot and teams and everything thanks guys we'll meet in next tutorial bye